So far we've been talking about scaling our infrastructure like we looked at in this picture all at one site. But soon that is not going to be sufficient for a, a large site. And so what we would like to be able to do is be able to handle very large uh, sites. So what we might want to do is, is something like the following. If, if we've got uh, let's say our uh, network this is our internet right here and we have people connecting to us let's say this is our, our, our web browser right here so far we have something that looks like this we have our web server system with a, its database over here and there's going to be some sort of way that the traffic goes for the request in the internet between the web browser and the web server. And if we've only got a few requests from from here and we've got some other web browser that's connecting over here and it makes a, you know, a different request that goes a different way through the web, that's no big deal. But when the number of these sites, uh, browsers I should say, starts to grow and starts to grow rapidly, there's going to be congestion right here. We're, we're going to have trouble serving all those requests because they're all going to come through this center, single point uh, on the network and they're going to, even if our, we had enough servers here to handle that many requests, maybe the network provider can't handle that many requests. And, and so one of the, the things that we can do is that we can put in the the network right here on the edge of the network right here we can distribute at different locations right uh, and I'm just putting them at, at various places here we can make copies of this server so we can put kind of a, a little mini server at, at each location so that rather than all the requests coming to that single location now we've got a lot of servers and they these can be many can be relative because we could have them all look each one of those locations look something like this where we've got multiple servers at that location but but now look what what happens here if we make our requests from this place rather than going all the way across the network to our main server it can go right here because that's close and this request right here can go here because it's it's close and now this request and this request are accessing different resources and so they're not going to conflict with each other and so it's going to be really easy to handle more connections. Uh, we, we still have more servers, multiple servers, but instead of having all the multiple servers at one location, we start to have multiple servers at multiple locations right here. And that's going to be really great. It's going to uh, be, be great for uh, a, a number of reasons, and, and we'll explore those in our next video.